Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome back to TransWest Truck Trailer RV. Uh, it's a brisk morning here in Colorado, and uh, today I'm going to be talking to you about a brand new 2021 Dutch Star 4081 floor plan. This model has a stock number of 5N201203. And uh, one of the things about this floor plan, this is really one of the mainstays of the Dutch Star lineup. Uh, a couple of years ago, this was actually the 4018 floor plan. Same layout, they made a few changes. It's now called the 4081. But uh, a couple of things I like to point out that are very unique. First of all, very few 40 footers have tag axles and Numar I think is about the only company doing that. So I want to talk a little bit about the Freightliner chassis, the Star Foundation, and then we're going to go inside and point out some of the upgrades they made a few years back. After doing so many videos, uh, it's hard to come up with things new, but it's a good idea to report what makes the Numars such a unique product. So let's go over here on the, uh, on the passenger side. First of all, it's a little bit breezy today, but I didn't put out the awnings, but they do have the Girard rooftop awnings, which are a full length awning. It also has the Girard window awning package. Now those awnings are uh, motion censored. If the wind picks up, they start bouncing, they're gonna close on their own. Because of the conditions today, I'm not going to run those out for you. Uh, let's move back here. Again, we're talking about the, the Freightliner chassis here. This is a, uh, a 49,000 pound GVW chassis. It has 37,000 pounds empty weight. That leaves about 12,000 for your cargo capacity with 15,000 uh, pound rating, uh, tow rating. One of the things I like to show is right here where your fuel fill is and you have them on both sides. There is a steel plate that Numar welds in right here to protect that fuel line. If you've ever been uh, out near the highway when a tire shreds, it sounds like a shotgun going off. It just rips things apart in there. To protect that fuel line is very important. Most companies are gonna reach in there and feel the rubber or, or feel that line without any protection. So uh, just a great feature there. Let's move on back to our compartments in this first one We've got the refrigerator freezer on a nice pull-out tray. One thing I like to point out about this tray, you can open it up far enough to open your lids without, you know, having to hold it because of the slide out. You've got dual zones and you can set this for, uh, for drinks, you know, as a refrigerator or you could set it for uh, meat, you know, if you want to keep it frozen or bringing back a stash of fish from Alaska. We move back to these two compartments and we actually put in the manual slide out trays in this one. These pull out both sides, just makes it real convenient when you've got your Tupperware bins or things that you don't use very often that are in the middle of the coach under the rails, you don't have to crawl in there to get them. This compartment here course is only a, a half compartment I'd call it or about two-thirds but it still has a nice wide slide out tray uh, easy to access anything you're you're storing here they do give you a couple extra tiles these are the controls for your vacuum cleaner speaking of the vacuum cleaner right here we have uh, an outside attachment so you can hook up your hoses you know vacuum out all your storage compartments also in this compartment, we've got our slide out controls. A lot of the components are right here. You do have a, uh, a 110 outlet on this side. Let's, let's move back to the other compartment. While we're here, this is a really good shot of the, what we call the Star Foundation. The Star Foundation is unique to Numar. If we look up here at the, the main chassis rails, you notice your frame rails aren't sitting directly on it. It's all gusseted down, it supports your compartments, it ties it in and makes a stronger, more robust foundation. In fact, STAR stands for strong, true, and robust. When they uh, bring these in the factory, 
all you old timers might know what a theatolite is, it's a surveying instrument, you can lay it on there and it is dead level all the way across very strong. It allows you to put more weight in the coach without getting the twisting and the turning. Just a great feature, again, unique to Newmar. Moving on down. Oh, don't let me forget the outside TV. For all you sports fans, if you've managed to uh, remain a fan through this year, <laughs> we've got uh, four TVs on this one, but this is great. You know, sit out under your awnings on a nice day, watch the game. Great place for tailgating. Back in this compartment, uh, you've got some components back there, but they do give you the pegboard and the nice racks for tools or oil or anything you might want to put in there. They utilize the space everywhere they can. Nothing gets wasted. Again, tag axle on a 40-footer, unique to Numar. Most of them, uh, other manufacturers, don't put a tag axle on till about 42 and, or 43 feet. One of the reasons they do that, a few years back, the DOT regulations changed. What used to be common on a 40-footer would be a 20,000-pound uh, 20, axle. Most companies just put a 25 or 26,000-pound axle on it. Numar added a tag. We actually have a 12,000 pound tag axle on the back with a 20,000 pound main axle and a 17,000 pound axle up front. Your total of the 49,000 GVW there. Moving back here, we have uh, our depth compartment. Now you can fill your depth from either side, which makes it convenient when you're pulling into a fuel station. And then right here is your chassis batteries, your uh, chassis disconnect, and underneath there you can see the combustion chamber. That's all part of the uh, cleaning up the emissions. <laughs> the Dutch Star is powered by an 8.9 liter Cummins, 450 uh, horsepower, and it's got 1,250 uh, foot-pounds of torque and it develops at somewhere around 12 or 14,000 RPMs. Uh, for people that aren't really a gearhead, and admittedly I'm not either, the beauty of the diesel is it develop, develops its maximum torque at a lower RPM. So when you're going up the hill, unlike a gas engine where you might have to run that up at four or 5,000 RPMs to get the torque and power to get up that hill, you can do it at much lower RPMs. It pulls a lot smoother. Uh, these engines just run forever. You can see right here it's easy to access your fluid, your oil uh, fill, transmission uh, dipstick. You've got your power steering fluid, this here Oasis, that's part of your, uh, your hydronic heating system, but it makes it really easy to fill right there. Uh, your coolant, little window right here to check on it. You have your air cleaner. This little gauge lets you know when your air cleaner is getting dirty. As it starts to uh, build up more pressure, you might want to replace your air filter. Got your water separator right here. Everything's easily accessible, and that's because it is a side mount radiator. You do have a little light back here if you're adding fluids at night. You've got a plug here that's uh, engine preheat. Just really easy to access. This camera system I'm going to talk about inside actually has the 360 and the three way. Well, you can see there's four cameras actually, two on the back and then uh, one mounted on each side. Great looking cap too. Back in 2016 they made some changes to the caps, uh, changed the height of the interior a little bit. Uh, the Dutch Star really is the heart and soul of Numar in my mind. I think it's their most popular model. And again, the 4081 has been around a long time. Just a great floor plan all the way around. Let's move over here. Now, I left this slide out in intentionally. Uh, one is so I can show you when we're inside about the Moore floor, how that operates. But a couple other things I'd like to point out. These are true flush slides, and you notice they sit flush with the sidewall as opposed to having a fascia that would overlap like most of them. As you're going down the road, 
That overlap is a place for wind noise, uh, rain to get driven in there. There's actually more road noise and wind noise when you're sitting in front of the, uh, this unit than there is from the engine. And part of being quiet is this flush wall slide. Again, we have another depth fill on this side. So we've got a 105 gallon fuel tank, uh, 100 gallon fuel tank, so we got 10 gallons of depth there. One thing that a Freightliner does that, that you know, any tech appreciates is their V-Ride. You can see in here, if you can get a shot of that, Jody, maybe from underneath, but there's an adjustment nut under there. So if you have to uh, kind of, you know, align the tires or make slight adjustments, it's much easier to get to. And again, the V-Ride, it's a, uh, a pyramid or triangular shaped assembly that ties in the chassis uh, it, it, with the airbags, with the tune sack shocks, the star foundation and the V-Ride, you have a more stable platform, a more comfortable ride. You don't get the rolling and twisting when you're on a real winding road that you might in another coach that doesn't have all those features. Moving up here, we've got our water closet. This is this is a great looking, you know, water compartment here. Uh, you've got the Santacon system, which is basically uh, like a garbage disposal for your black tank. So you can turn it on right here. It will pump the uh, the black tank out, so you could actually pump it uphill if you want to. But you also have a traditional gravity drain if needed. Let's see, we have our. Uh, winterization kit here and your bypass valves for when you are putting antifreeze into the system. You have your hot and cold low point drains, your tank rinse, so when you do drain your black tank, you can hook up uh, a hose and rinse that out, help keep the odors down inside. This has a, a full house filter here and you also, hard to see, but you've got a power fill for your water uh, supply. And then, of course, your water hose is on an electric reel. I like the stainless steel here. They give you a place for uh, paper towels. It's just very well thought out, very clean look to it. Here we have our 50 amp power cord. And again, this is on a power rewind, which makes it so much easier and cleaner when you're putting that big heavy cord away. Uh, your transfer switch here has a built-in surge protector on it. And then you also have a place where if you want to bring in, say, an outside cable or you have a port portable satellite you're hooking up, you can bring it in here, run the cable up, shut the door. Another thing they did is they moved the switch for that power right up here. Typically, they're back here and it's kind of awkward uh, to get into them. I like having it on the door a lot more. This is our Oasis system. This is the hydronic heating. It provides your hot water, your, uh, your furnace. The nice thing about Oasis, there are two electric elements inside, and it's actually what we're running on right now. We're not burning any diesel. Uh, it's not that cold that we need to, but with two elements, you can run it on electric in lower temperatures than you could with just a single one. Over here again, you see we've got our, our two main storage compartments. Now, the other slide-out trays behind that Oasis, here's your, uh, your full pull-out. It would come out this side, just like on the, uh, on the passenger side. I like the fact that these LEDs, too, come on. When you open a door, there's automatically a light there. You don't have to search for a switch and turn it on. Here we've got our, chat, or our house batteries. There are eight six volt AGM batteries. Now, that tells me this is an all electric coach. You get a 2800 watt inverter, four extra batteries when you get the residential refrigerator and the induction cook surface, plenty of power if you are camping off the grid for a while. 
well, RVing off the grid, it's hard to call this camping, actually. Again, you have your fuel fill on the driver's side with that steel plate in there. And then this final compartment, these are a lot of the circuits for the chassis itself. Uh, so if you got blinkers that aren't working or, or a light that's out or maybe your seat's not moving, you can figure out which fuse it is. They do give you some spare fuses here. And again, everything is labeled so you know what you're looking for. Okay, let's, uh, let's go ahead and move inside here. One thing, get a, get a shot of that camera up there. This has got the 360 camera system we're going to talk about a little bit. I've got the visor down so we can see the dash a little better, so you wouldn't be able to see that from inside. As you go into the coach, I always like to point out this grab handle. Very heavy duty, very important as you're getting older to get a little help as you go up there. I don't know if you can pull that door closed behind you as you come in. Okay. Now, I was talking about the more floor and this full wall slide a little bit when we're outside. So I want to run it out right now and give you a, an idea of what we're talking about. This is a full wall slide. And if you notice, there's tile going all the way back. Now it takes a real heavy duty mechanism to do it, but if you notice, there's no rollers touching the tile. You won't get the marks that you do with a lot of coaches. It goes all the way out and then it drops down. And like I say, it never even touches the floor below it. There we go. Okay, let me move my seat back a little bit here. And while we're up front, I want to talk about what we've got on the dash here. So, let me get this thing fired up. First of all, on this coach, you do have your tilt and telescope. There's a little pedal down below. But on top of that, I can uh, move these pedals in and out. So it makes it nice when you're, you know, a little bit shorter and you want to bring the pedals to you without getting too close to the wheel. They've got the all glass dash. Uh, in 2020, Freightliner changed their chassis a little bit. They try to keep everything at your fingertips and keep your eyes moving forward. You're no longer looking down here to shift or figure out what gear you're in. It displays it on the dash. Uh, you shift right here. You engage your engine brake right here at your fingertips. Um, another thing I'd like to point out, I talked about that 360 camera a little bit and uh, this is going to have to boot up. You've got your visor, uh, you know, your, your day shades here, your front night shade, docking light, so forth, uh, engine, or, uh, generator start, courtesy light. So another thing, you've got regular horn, but when you want to really get some attention, you got the big boy horn also. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, let's go into the menu. I, I want to show you a little bit about this camera. This has got the 360 camera, which I've got engaged right now. Now, if you're watching a trailer when you're driving, you just might want this view. And when you put your blinkers on, they automatically switch to whatever side you're turning. But when you put this 360 on, the cameras give you like an overhead bird's eye view. You also, right now we're looking out the back. I can, uh, I can switch that camera right now and this shows me I'm looking out both sides plus I've got my overhead. I can look out the left, the right, out front, wave to the uh, control booth up there. 
There's our back monitor. Again, this 360 view, I think, uh, you know, it's real handy if you're pulling into a tight spot, or maybe at night, you just want to know what's going on around you. So it's a great camera system here. Like I said, this also has the collision uh, mitigation, uh, blind spot monitoring, and so forth. Just a very uh, easy to read dash. Controls are all at your finger fingertips. Great improvement by Freightliner when they did this. This is also equipped with Comfort Drive. Uh, you may have heard us talk about it before. It's a steering assist that's, that's computer. Uh, they have sensors that sense the torque on the wheels. If you've got a strong crosswind, a real you know curved uh, road, you might be fighting to keep that wheel back in the middle. Comfort Drive senses that, corrects for you, keeps you going straight down the middle of a lane, a much less stressful drive all the way around. Another thing that all these Dutch stars have, uh, I have multiplex wiring and I turned off all the lights right here. If I want to turn them on, now this is going to turn on the main lights, not all your reading lights and so forth, but uh, turn on my accent lights. Um, we've got, okay, this is part of the heated floor. I'll talk about that when we're in the back. We actually have three zones we're controlling. This year, we have all villa furniture, and I love these theater seatings. Of course, everybody's got to have a lighted cup holder, and as you can see, this is our Christmas special here with the red and green. You've got some great storage down here with a little sliding tray for your remote controls or crossword puzzles, games, whatever it be. These are electric footrests, and talk about a comfortable chair. Uh, I mean, the Villa Furniture is a great improvement. From right here, of course, I'm going to hit my televator, and you can see it popping up there behind the couch. If we pivot the, uh, the front seats around, particularly the driver's seat, that's a great spot to uh, put your feet up and watch TV. Like say, the theater seating is extremely comfortable. Another thing I'd like to point out is this dormy sofa. I actually had a question this morning. Is this just a, a jackknife couch or is it a height -a bed And this is a full height -a bed I'm going to show you just how easy it is to pull it out. So you do have a release here. Okay, once it's released, you pull it up, you see the legs drop down. Fold this down, and there's your air mattress. That's uh, one powered by 110. There's a pump that pumps the air in and pumps it out. I like to lay on it, you know, pump it up all the way and then lay on it and let out a little bit of air at a time till you find just the right spot. But it's very fast and easy to set up. Another thing, maybe get a shot right here, uh, Jody. You can see what, what they call the moor floor. That is tile underneath this couch. You don't have bare plywood. You don't have carpet. This slide out has tile in it. To put it back, very easy to drop that in. And there you have it. That's the Villa Dormy Couch with a, uh, it's not quite a full queen size and almost 60 inches wide, but very comfortable uh, extra bed if you have guests. All right, let's move back into the kitchen. And again, I'm going to turn on some of my lights here. Got a water pump switch there also. We do have a nice countertop extension. Gives you great counter space when you're uh, prepping a meal. All of these drawers here are soft clothes. Another thing I like to point out, little bits of touch-up paint for your outside paint job. If you get a small scratch or you want to uh, touch it up yourself, they provide that for you. These are all soft closed drawers. I'm going to go ahead and shut this while we walk around. Uh, this is a all-electric coach, like I mentioned earlier. So you have a true induction 
cook surface. This runs off your 2800 watt inverter and those 8 AGM batteries. This will pull out. You can unplug it. You can take it outside and plug it in. Cook out there if you like. The rest of the appliances are all Whirlpool appliances. You get the nice convection microwave oven. Down here we have a Whirlpool dishwasher. Shut that off. Got a nice big silverware drawer here and enough remote controls to last you a lifetime. Over here we have a undermount sink. And I like this big one. If you've got the big spaghetti bowl or soup pot, you can get it in there, get it cleaned out. You do have residential style fixtures here. Another little prep sink. Uh, you know, if you're just watch it, washing vegetables or something, you can use the small sink and keep the lid on, use this for counter space. Here's some of the little features that Newmark gives you. You know, if you're not a very tall person, uh, some of you ladies maybe, you can't reach the back of that cabinet. So it's nice to have these pull-out drawers. Notice these are all hidden hinges too. You don't see them. Uh, great look to the cabinetry. This is the uh, Bermuda, uh, let me check my cheat sheet here, the Bermuda Glaze Maple Hardwood. And uh, I pointed it out before. Not only does Numar make all their cabinetry in house, but the way they design this, it's not just a flat bank of cabinets. They give it a little contour, a little offset, some nice crown molding. It's just a great looking uh, coach, great looking cabinetry. These uh, designer ceilings here actually cover your air conditioning vents and heating vents so you don't see them like you do in most coaches and also they run right down the middle if I'm in Texas in July and you've got some company back here they probably want a little air conditioning when these slides are in that AC is blowing straight down uh, where you want it it's not blowing down over the slides and they've got the nice padded ceiling uh, helps with the soundproofing for one thing. You've got three of these fantastic fans throughout. These are great when you're cooking or maybe just at night you want to open a window and pull some air through. Over here we have our, our villa uh, booth and this one pulls out a long way. You actually have two extra leafs and a couple of uh, couple of folding chairs and they give you an extra leg for support here. With those two folding chairs you could probably even put a stool here and get seven people around this table. Okay, let's move back uh, into the half bathroom now. Get some lights on. And a couple of things I like to point out. Uh, Numar gives you your 110 breakers right here and you can see everything is labeled. You also have your fuses and over here tells you what everything is for. <laughs> this is a power stool by the way that's flushing when you stand up or you know senses the motion it will flush itself. Another thing I wanted to point out though, up here is your floor heat. These are GFI circuits. Uh, if you are using your floor heat and you trip the circuit, you can reset them right here. Got good storage. Nice vanity. Oh, let me get my vanity lights on. And you know, again, enough room for everything you would need. Even though it's kind of a small bathroom, only a 40 footer, gives you decent counter space here. Enough room to get in and, and do your business and not have to worry about rolling over the bed if the slide room is in. Across from the half bathroom we have our 
Whirlpool residential refrigerator. You can see how much storage you get in this uh, French door style refrigerator. And again, this works off your batteries, your inverter. Uh, they become so efficient that it doesn't use that much energy. Nice pantry with uh, pullouts. Uh, boy, are those tough. I'm not going to pull too hard on these. This is a brand new coach, and I'll let the, uh, the uh, shop go through them first. But again, the nice hidden hinges. The lights come on as soon as you open your dr uh, door. So we move to the bedroom here. This floor plan's got a couple of uh, shirt closets on each side of the TV. You actually have five nice drawers here. This, this one here is more of a video uh, component area. But five very deep drawers. Again, all with soft close feature. Samsung TV. Some more room for uh, shirt storage here. They, they really utilize every bit of storage that they possibly can. If you look under the bed here, you can see the two table leaves, the folding chairs that match the furniture up front. A little extra room for, you know, linens or whatever you want to put under there. As they come over here, you got a couple of reading lights. Uh, you can access your TV. And this is a king bed. Look at the detail here. They really do build a beautiful coach. Dutch Star is the start of what we would call the luxury lineup. Part of that is having your in-floor heat. Here's one of the panels for those. You have three different temperature settings. And the, uh, the heating, the heated floors here, actually use an electric element that's right in the thin set here, just below the tile. The beauty of that is you only have to heat the tile to feel that heat. So it heats up faster, cools down faster. And should you have a problem, they can determine where that problem is, take out one individual tile, make the repair, put that tile back, you don't even know anything was wrong. If you have the hydronic heating systems, that's under your subfloor. You've got to heat an inch and a half to two inches of subfloor plus your tile and it's heat coil, you know, uh, basically your hydronic system that runs in loops underneath that. It takes a long time to heat up. If you should happen to have a leak or something's not working, you have to come up from underneath to get to that. So Numar, with their Oasis system, with their electric uh, heated floors, they use a little bit more expensive components, but the results speak for themselves. It's hard to beat the, uh, the quality and the comfort you get in a Numar coach. Let's move back into the bathroom here. And again, keep in mind that this is a 40 foot, oops, only a 40 foot coach. So we don't have the double sink. We don't have the room we do in our 43 and 45 footers. But that's one of the beauty of this. That's why it's such a popular floor plan. Not everyone wants a 45 footer, but they want the stability of that tag axle. And you get it with this 4081 floor plan. Over on this side, you can see our shower has the nice teak seat in there. It's got the water miser system. Let me duck under. I'm just going to turn that on. The aquamizer, you can see the blue light comes on. So as I'm waiting for the water to heat up, it's not coming out through the shower head. It's recirculating back into the fresh water holding tank. When that light turns colors, it'll let you know that it's hot. You flip your switch at the bottom, then you take your shower. The two things that does is it preserves fresh water and you're not filling your gray tank. You have a 75-gallon uh, gray tank here, 55-gallon black tank, and 100 gallons of fresh water with this one. Let me shut that off. Another uh, feature you find only in the Numars, to my knowledge, is an egress door. 
Now if I were to pull this panel, there's a ladder that drops down. So if you do have to get out of your coach in the case of an emergency, I'd much rather go out this way. Even if you're jumping down, rather than going out that window in the bedroom where you're going out head first most likely, heading to about a six or seven foot drop to the pavement. Again, there's a lot of nice storage in here. Plenty of cabinets for uh, your linens and so forth. A very large medicine cabinet here. And then they actually give you a little bit more wardrobe storage over here. You've got deep drawers here with the full uh, full drawer glides. Same thing on your vanity and again all soft clothes. Storage underneath. Three more drawers here. And then of course we have the stackable uh, Splendide washer and dryer. Another one of the changes that they incorporated in 2016 when they uh, went to the Moore floor is they put this cathedral ceiling in here. They also lowered the step. So if you're 6'4", six, 6'5", six, you've got room to stand in here to take a shower. You actually have 83 inches of headroom right here throughout the, the main part of the coach. So, you know, just some great improvements that they, they've made in the last, you know, three, four years with these models. Uh, gee, I always forget something, but uh, I'll point out this is part of your vacuum system here. So when you plug your hose in, that comes on automatically. Again, we're in a 2021 uh, Numar. Dutch Star 4081 floor plan. If you have questions on this one or any other coach, please contact me. Here's my contact information. If you want us to do a video walk around on another coach, uh, you know, we're perfectly able to do that for you. We try to bring you one every day, weather permitting, and uh, finally we're getting a little more inventory in. We had a, a kind of unique summer, but you know we're here every day. Please reach out to us if you have any questions. And once again, folks, uh, happy trails. Enjoy your travels. Thank you.